Good day YouTube, my name is Captain Darren and in today's video I'm going to talk about the type of anti-corrosion grease that I use on my 05 antennas, both the 27 foot and the 43 foot version. Stay tuned. I had a few comments on my YouTube channel with regards to my 05 antenna installation. I utilize a product called the JetLoop SS30 and I was hoping to prevent aluminum corrosions when I connected the two antenna elements together and also an anti-seize compound so when I disassemble it later on it would be a lot easier to take apart. You guys are the expert so what they recommended me to utilize is a product called Neolox. So this product, they say it's an antioxidant joint compound. So let's take a look at that on my desktop. Okay guys, this is what I'm using. This is the SS30 Jet Lube. So we're looking at the website of the company. And so what is Jet Lube? They're saying it's an anti-seize thread lubricant and uh, something to look at here. It contains a very high content of micro-sized pure copper flakes. Okay, so there are copper flakes. So a lot of people are saying with those copper plates and then you're going to introduce an aluminum element, an antenna and then you're gonna put that together, would that create some sort of uh, corrosion? That's like two dissimilar metals, right? So that's something that I'm deciding to uh, take down my antenna and remove the SS30 jet lube and replace it with nail locks. So you just take a look at that and uh, it contains no lead or graphite and um, it's easy to brush on you see in my videos I, I used it a lot on my antennas here are some benefits lead free it protects against seizures heat freeze galling rust and corrosion brushes on easily Highly adhesive on both wet and dry surfaces. The copper plates, it's copper plated or copper plates to prevent metal to metal contact. To prevent metal to metal contact, what I want to do, I want to make a contact. So my antenna, it's using the full 43 foot or 27 feet element. So that's it prevents metal to metal contact and it's conductive all right conductive I'm not sure if I can condu conduct electricity so I'm going to do a test I'm going to connect my power supply and a contact of uh, the positive lead on a jet lube and let's see if it's going to be conductive so stay tuned I'm gonna I'm gonna test that after I explain what jet lube is and also what nail locks is. Okay, so it's military standard mil specs right there. I don't know why. But okay, that's jet lube. Now on to nail locks. This is exactly what I bought on Amazon. I don't know how much it costs, maybe less than $30, but you can take a look at that on Amazon. But here it is. I have the 8 ounce version. It's a brush type. And here's some details. Antioxidant compound improve efficiency and service life of aluminum electrical applications. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Suspended zinc particles penetrate and cut aluminum oxide while carrying materials excludes 
air to minimize further oxidation. Cool. So that's what I want, right? To prevent aluminum oxide. It provides a a it provides additional inner strands and inner conductor current path for improved conductivity and cooler connections. Cool. All right. And let's take a look here. Um, for use with pressure type wire. Okay, we're not doing any kind of lugs or connecting to a power uh, panel. Um, strictly, I'm going to use this to connect two aluminum elements together to to produce uh, one gigantic element. My antenna, right? Again, like this one, like the uh, SS30 reduced galling seizing when applied on aluminum conduit joints promoting good ground continuity okay they're also saying that it produces continuity it conducts uh, an electrical current so that is nail locks an antioxidant compound in Improve efficiency and service life of electrical applications. Don't go away. Stay tuned. I'm going to test if these products conduct electricity. So this is how I'm going to test the continuity. I'm going to go to continuity and you should be able to hear. Okay, so we're going to test the jet loop first. And all I'm going to do is just take this, look at that blob. Okay, I'm just going to set it aside right here and test the continuity and see if it has continuity, like conductivity. And it doesn't. So it doesn't. Look. Now if I were to touch the two metals together, yes. But it, when I touch the, t the, the compound, it doesn't conduct. No connection. Okay, let me clean this and then we're going to try the Nalox. Okay, now this is the Nalox. Let's open this up. Oh, yeah, this is black and gooey. Look at that. All right, we're going to test, see if it conducts. Nothing, but when the two metals touch. Yes, so that's me touching that's me touching the the probe together so with the grease itself it doesn't conduct Nalux nor does the jet lube so let me clean this and then we got one more test to see if current if it conducts current let me show you that next. This is how I'm going to test this next experiment. I have a power supply. It's connected to a power analyzer. And I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to connect the power lead and you'll see 
that the analyzer comes on here. So the same experiment, but this time with power. I'm just gonna move that aside. I have Nalox. I surely hope I don't dump this because this is like tar. All right, so you can see the power meter here. The power meter, power analyzer. Okay, I want to take this power lead, touch it there, touch it here. It's not conducting. I'll show you it here. That light that you just saw it flicker on the power meter, I accidentally touched the contact here. See, I can touch. If the metal touches the contact, yeah, it's going to conduct. So what I'm doing is just testing does by itself Does this compound conduct electricity, current, or any kind of continuity? No, it doesn't. So what it does is basically it's a protective coating on the metal that prevents corrosion. So let me clean this and we'll do the same thing for the JetLoop SS30. Now you see that there is there is power. Now the jet lube. I'm going to I'm going to touch metal to metal. Power comes on. And just with the compounds touching each other for both leads. No. It flickered because I I'm touching the metal itself, metal to metal. But as far as compound conducting electricity, that's a negative. Okay, let me clear this. Let me clean this and share you my thoughts. Well, what do you think of my scientific experiment? I just want to entertain you guys and show you that these two products don't really conduct electricity, but they do prevent corrosion. And because I, because of the viewers, you guys responded, uh, they don't recommend or you guys don't recommend me using the pure copper anti-seize instead of use this the Nalox by Ideal or any other brands because uh, one thing it's aluminum to aluminum and it prevents corrosion leave me a comment what do you guys think do you plan on putting your antenna together and utilizing those two products or one of the two products that I shown today or do you plan to keep it just bare metal aluminum to aluminum and just let nature take its course sooner or later there will be some sort of corrosion 
aluminum oxide. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Please consider to subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Until next time, have a great day.